Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rima. In this video, I will tell you how the deep web and dark web can be used for open source intelligence. First, let's understand what the deep web and dark web represent. Every time you use search engines like Google, Bing, and Yandex, you will be shown web pages that are indexed by these search engines. Websites containing these indexed web pages are publicly accessible. These websites constitute the surface web or the internet that we know and use on a daily basis. Some websites are not indexed by search engines and are sometimes accessible only using special credentials or by obtaining a subscription. These websites constitute the deep web. It is much larger than the surface web. It is possible to find white papers, academic literature, online libraries, archived versions of web pages that do not exist, and private internet data on the deep web. Data on the deep web cannot be found by search engines like Google, Bing, and Yandex. There are specially designed search engines to search for data on the deep web. Depending on the data you intend to investigate, for example, academic literature or legal records or scientific research, you can use websites that have deep web search engines built into them. There is a small portion of the deep web that is focused on user anonymity. It exists on special networks and is hidden from search engines. It is referred to as the dark web. As heavy emphasis is laid on user anonymity in the dark web, you can find a range of content like sale of hacked user data and contraband goods, information revealed by whistleblowers, malicious software, sale of firearms and weapons, communication between extremists and terrorist organizations, etc. Websites on the dark web cannot be accessed directly from a web browser. They can only be accessed using special software like Tor. They do not use conventional top-level domain names like common.org. Rather, the URL names end with the word onion. Once you connect to the dark web, you can use special search engines to search for message boards, forums, and chat rooms that may be relevant to your target. Extreme caution must be taken while investigating a target on the dark web. An awesome investigation typically begins on the surface web. Depending on the requirement, the investigation may progress to gathering data from the deep web and eventually the dark web. During the surface web OSINT phase, if you identify any social media handles or activity relevant to your target, see if you can spot similar handles used across websites in the dark web OSINT phase. I hope you have a good idea now about what the deep web and dark web are and how they can be used for open source intelligence. In upcoming videos, we will demonstrate how you gather open source data from the deep web and dark web. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.